took out like one of the I, legs of a instrument, like switched it out for it. Yeah, they jeopardize like, everyone's life and the entire mission so they could bring a golf club and they play golf on the moon. They jeopardize the mission by doing that. Come on. Well, they said they can't add any more weight. It's a very delicate process. I mean, we're going to the moon. We have a certain amount of weight. We're dispersing that amount of weight, right? In a gravitational orbit. This is the biggest sleep in mankind history. We didn't even know what we were going to do. It was very dangerous altogether. Everyone was on the edge of their seat. So the most logical thing to do would be to, you know, avoid protocol and add weight with the golf club so we could take off on the moon. With those, uh, with time, those, um, with those golf First balls, Kosho, with those golf balls beyond the moon or in space somewhere? They have been using rocks for all I know, but um, the um, the first mission I, I guess was dangerous. But after that, they were bringing feathers and car and like go karts and all all sorts of shit. So I think they were just having fun and trying to. I mean, that's that actually. I, I mean, that was, I think he did. I think he, he did a test with that golf swing. I, I remember him saying something about that. Like there was like a test he was doing. Was this before or after he had to jack off in a casket around a bunch of other masons? After I guess. Probably after, yeah. So is this golf ball still just flying around in space? Why would it be? Kosha, you, Kosha, you said they were using moon rocks. It looks like a golf ball there. Oh, no. I said they were using moon rocks for all I know. No, look but at yeah. the well, picture there. They use golf like balls. Golf ball, 1,400 miles per hour. Well, those golf balls. Why does someone say am I stupid? Why, why would it not be flying in space? Enlighten me. We don't have any idea about any of the forces involved that would be required, even from the model standpoint. So where's the golf ball? Fourteen hundred miles an hour. Yeah, golf ball. It is. Says the, the um. Kersha, just answer a quick straight question. Where's the golf ball? The space or on the moon? Yeah, it says that the escape velocity on the moon is um, I don't know how to convert this, but it says two 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 point three eight kilometers per second. There's no like proof about, of it. Don't it say like it. about, there's no okay, proof of it. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Looks like it's almost about five times less than, um, uh, maybe four or five times less than uh, the gravity's escape velocity. So that would probably be like uh, uh, six, six thousand, seven thousand miles per hour. So I don't think the golf ball. I think the golf ball would fall back down unless he, unless he hit it and it was going six thousand miles per hour. So there's just golf ball sitting on the mid. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you would be able to get a full power drive in a spacesuit. He so could have gone it up too. We don't know if it's still there. Yeah, of course you don't. You don't know about any of this stupid fairy tale. Do you guys have to at least admit it's pretty preposterous this guy actually jeopardizes everyone's life so he can bring a golf club to the moon? It's not preposterous, it's it. You've just got no imagination. Oh, thank you for admitting that this is all deriving from imagination. Everything comes from imag a human imagination, which Everything having to do with landing on a rock that spins around in a vacuum, that's for sure. Have you guys ever actually intellectually been honest and even considered the mere possibility that they faked the that's moon landing? Idiot? I did in the past, but that's before I knew more about it. I was like, I wonder if this is fake. Could it be fake? But then I learned a lot more stuff and... The stuff I learned basically confirmed, and they yeah, definitely went for sure. Uh, yeah, definitely went for sure. Yeah, that's a cool story. So, say, so if I have a girlfriend and she's notorious for being a little scuzzy, you um, and got a then girlfriend wits it. You're right. I don't. I, I don't have a girlfriend. I'm single. So anyway, tr trust me. I have more game than you'll ever have, though. So say that I had a girlfriend. She's infamous oh, for being you're a single. Are you wits it? Uh, yeah, by yeah. my decision because I don't you stay. Poor, pathetic little, little babe. I don't date little because he's in Babylon. I have a very particular Let standard. Austin that I have to to. So, speak. Yeah, right. So, say you have a little scuzzy girlfriend, uh, and she's at. She says she's at oh, work. You, you haven't find got out. a girlfriend, you poor pathetic little. Oh, man, let's let, 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 let me get through, man. Hmm. You find out that she's not actually at work, um, and you're like, wow. And then you, uh, she forgot to turn her Snapchat location off, and you find out she's actually at some dude's house. You're like, oh my gosh, he's lying about where she's at. She's at dude's house. This is not, she's not really at work. She's cheating on me. But then she comes back and she starts telling you all kinds of intricate details about the story, about why she wasn't really lying to you about being at a dude's house. And she gives you all kinds of, you know, fairy tales about what was really going on. Well, as long as you can remember and learn all the fairy tales she came up with, there's no way she cheated. There's no way. 
Yeah, absolutely. If you can verify, if you can verify that this the story that sounded weird at first was one hundred percent true, maybe she like it would have been, the story made sense. Not if it was like a cock, cocked up, you know, bullshit story, but if there really was some background that was happening, like they were planning some surprise thing for you, the surprise thing ended up happening. The dude's gay. Like there's all these like things that make what you originally thought not true. Then yeah, of course. But if it if it looked sketchy, then it had to look sketchy. But this situation is not a situation where it looked sketchy to begin with, and then we have all to right, right. Let's take let's take the analogy. Let's take the analogy a little further, right? So it'll be more applicable to the fairy tale bullshit story about the moon that you guys probably believe like boomers do. So, so they she lies. She's actually at this dude's house, and then she's like, "Look, I have proof that I was at work." Here's my uh, checkout slip of the amount of money I made. And you find out that it wasn't real. It was faked. It wasn't even a real checkout slip. Uh, but then she comes up with another story. So we'll forget that she faked the checkout slip. We'll forget that she lied about where she was. We'll forget about that she was provably at another dude's house. Because I really don't want to believe that she would lie to me. So so instead of uh, facing the unconformality that maybe my girlfriend's cheating and lying... Okay. I'm going to really pull for her as she comes up with new stories to justify the lie. That's what you guys are doing with the men. Oh, so I'm saying that's that would suck, and that would be uh, obviously the, the delusion or whatever, whatever the case. But that's not this situation. It's not that's it's not a situation where we caught them lying in the act, and then they came up with some bullshit answer, and so we decided to believe them. No, no, nothing about the Apollo program uh, that I can think of on the top of my head. Nothing that they've told us turn out to be a lie or anything like that and then yeah except that they defied physics and fell to the ground and got jerked up uh defying physics on the moon so we'll, we'll ignore the fact that it was clearly in a studio on a harness in 69 and they can't go back because they destroyed the technology and it's a painful process to build it back and it's just too dangerous to get past low earth orbit now we'll ignore all that um so it, do you guys find it at least kind of odd that they named it after the sun god but God, this is very interesting. You, you talk about the uh, moon and uh, all the things that were found to be false. I mean, I, I haven't seen anything. This is a lot more like somebody said your girlfriend's cheating on you. They have no evidence of it, and you're dumping her because you believe your friend. Oh, it's like seeing a video of her getting banged and you coming up with an idea that it's not really her getting banged. So anyway, what we're gonna what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on. Do you guys at least admit it's kind of odd they chose the name and after the sun god? No. They named okay, so for that to after the out of war, Mercury. We didn't even go to Mercury. So I mean, All right, we're, wait, hey, that's called diversion, go show. So these people, they're Luciferian Masons, right? We happen to know that a lot of these quote unquote astronauts are Masons. Now, I'm not going to say they all are because you guys will spiral with your little gamma tendencies. But a lot of them are openly admitted to be Masons. And, of course, if you actually read the Masonic <laughs> literature, which is why you have to interrupt me because I'm dismantling your worldview and showing that you believe liars. And so if you read their no, literature, really they actually admit that they're Luciferians. They're Luciferians and sun worshipers. Well, what a coincidence. The people that told you they went to the moon, that worshipped the sun, named their supposed moon mission after the sun god – just a coincidence. And do you guys also find it a little odd that we actually utilize Nazis to do this? No. Oh, you, not weird at all. you use the best people to do it. You're right. They did use the best people to do it because what were the Nazis supposedly infamous for? Propaganda. Murder. Lying to the public with propaganda and convincing them of false narratives, right? So, yeah, they did yeah. use the perfect people That's for it. They had masterminded propaganda with psychological evaluation of people and masses, and they brought them over here to cast a lie of propaganda onto the public. Admit, admit that what you just said doesn't make sense uh, whenever you realize that the people that we're talking about that were for NASA weren't the propagandists. They were the engineers. Well, actually, so, uh, Ver Van Braun was an SS officer. Right. He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't an he was an officer in charge of building rockets. Yeah, he was an SS officer. He was a really trustworthy person. And instead of putting them on trial for supposed war crimes against humanity and hanging them, we actually revered them as scientific geniuses and put them on national television. Right. That's not my point, though. My point is that he wasn't a propagandist. He was an engineer. Well, I said that the Nazis were known for propaganda. Oh, and then we brought Nazis over here. And told them, we're going to take us to the moon. We just won't go back 50 years later. The Nazis were also known for making jet technology and rocket technology. Yeah, and, and the bell in well, the 30s. Well, 
<laughs> so they came and brought us rocket propulsion three decades later. What a cool story, bro. So it's bro, like you guys – let me bro. guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Was there any discrepancies or potential lies going on with the 9-11 narrative? Does that have anything to do with the moon? Yeah, it does. You blindly believe every single bullshit story you were told. It's insane. If you were alive during the time of Vietnam and people were, were actually going out and rioting or more so protesting against Vietnam, saying this story doesn't add up, we don't want to fight Vietnam, leave them alone, you guys would have run around screaming in their face about how they attacked our ship. And now you would look like a complete total moron because they admitted that we attacked our own ship. That's what you guys do. You guys will only reluctantly admit the lie once they tell you to your own. Oh, dumb faces that they lie you to you. Believe every stupid story that exists that doesn't match reality. Sorry, and you're stupid. That's, pat that's patently false. I don't blindly believe stories. That's why I'm not a stupid globe earther. You believe, believe every flat earth piece of shit stupid idea there is. Oh, you mean like uh, if the earth's flat, the surface wouldn't curve like we see? Like, uh, it's not moving because we don't actually feel it moving? Like, oh, the sky resets for all recorded history. I have to presuppose billions of years and thousands of light years without any scientific evidence. I have to believe the theory of relativity when applied to the universal scale is off by 95%. I have to believe all kinds of pseudoscientific nonsense over and over and over blindly to believe the earth's a ball and defy all natural observations, all empirical evidence, and then actually look to authoritative figures to actually depend my entire world for you upon them being uh, you, hey, does the government ever lie? I don't know, but do you, do you have a guess how many, ast how many astronauts were Freemasons? No, I don't know. I don't care. You're actually not I mean, supposed to go uh, around. I, I, listen, yeah. listen, 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 listen for a second, because this, this is going to I'm responding to things that you're saying, and the reason I'm doing that is because you're saying them. What you're not doing is responding to the people. Who, like, there's obvious flaws in what you're saying. You hear the flaws of what I'm saying, what I'm telling to you, and then instead I, you don't move on to all say they're Masons. Not all Masons there's, come there's out eight, there's Masons. eight astronauts. Eight astronauts were Freemasons. You mean openly? Them. Openly. Yeah, openly, yes. Okay, Freemasons so, are so openly Freemasons. Kosho, do are some Freemasons not openly Freemasons? I don't know how that would be possible, man. If you're okay, Freemason, well, you're right. You don't know how things are possible. Lodge, that's why you go to the lodge. to the lodge secretly? Yeah, well, some people are actually recruited for particular purposes, and they're not supposed to publicly give away that they're a part of the Brotherhood. But you've never read any Masonic literature in your life, have you, Coach? No, I have. There's no. Wait, give one example. Oh, have, you ever, have you ever read Manly P. All? Have you Have you ever read Albert Pike? Of somebody. Yes. Give one example of someone who was a Freemason who had to hide it. They were told. Charles, to hide it. Charles Darwin. My grandfather. My grandfather was thirty second degree Mason. Right, he was, and, he was, and, he was told, and he was told to hide it from everybody. Excuse, excuse, excuse me, excuse me, Austin, uh, Austin. You know, there is different. Uh, there's, there were Freemasons all over the world. Uh, there were Freemasons in Iceland uh, and so on. That was the uh, people that was just uh, taking the, the new technology into, into the country and working and doing good things. So you have to understand yeah. that uh, Freemason is not only <laughs> like in America... That was interested. With, uh, yeah, well, see, actually, it, uh, masonry isn't just evil in you're, you're, okay. Masonry isn't just evil in America, but no, I'm not saying all masons are evil and know all about it. Because what happens is you get taken in, you go through your rituals. You have to. I've actually been recruited and told what I would have to do three different times. Okay, but, and you have to retain information. You have to do your rituals. They give a lot of charitable donations. They keep a disguise out to the to the public that they're good. Okay, and then you have you have access to the libraries. Now, if you don't choose to go read them and figure out some of the big secrets, they don't care. They don't tell you. They prefer ninety percent of them or ninety nine percent of them not know. That way, no one knows what's going on. You have to go figure it out yourself. And if you figure out the big secrets. Then and only then will you be considered to be voted on to be brought into the thirty third degree. But this is yeah, not yeah, yeah. work for my grandfather. My grandfather you are, was thirty second. You are degree wrong, Mason. and you are right. Really? You are wrong and right in the same time. Because yes, in yeah. America it is, but in other countries it isn't. It is. It, it, it originated in Europe, dude. I actually, in Europe, in Scotland. It was not the same thing. So it, it, I, I know because uh, my grandfather was forty-second degree Mason, and I'm just going to keep talking since that's what everybody else does until they get the floor. Uh, my uh, father, grandfather was thirty-second degree Mason. He was a Shriner. That his being a Mason was not secret, but there was things that were secret that he was not allowed to tell. And from what my mom says, my aunt went after him all the time, asking him questions, and he just couldn't tell. I dated yeah. a Mason, 
and he was he was in the twenty something degree, and he told me there's shit that he just can't talk about. Yeah, Whoa. Every fraternity okay. is like that. So, yeah, every every fraternity is like that. Kosher defense psychopath. Every single fraternity is like that. That's exactly right. Yeah, every, exactly. No, every fraternity does not practice uh fake rituals of sacrifice in the third. No, degree. there's stuff there they can't talk about. So we're how talking the, about you selling know? bones. That's one. It's not yeah, sacrifice. You're, you're, you're talking out of your ass with it. The mock sacrifice. Third degree. Yeah, they taught you about Bohemian Grove. You're no. talking about Masonic ritual. Bell and bone. So what You're you have to do is you have to bone. 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 No, no. The skull and bones are the ones that like to jack off in front of other dudes in caskets. You have to roll your leg up. You have to roll one of your legs up. You have to wear a bag. You have to go get in a casket. They pretend to sap you. And then you step up no, out of no, it. What you do is the weekend. It's not, it's not uh, Freemasonry. It's uh, Illuminati. Uh, Their original uh, name was she, Illuminati. She, she Their original name was Illuminati. Literally. It's verifiable. Freemasons yeah, were around oh, before the Illuminati. They were Illuminati, and then they were outed, and then it was made illegal that they have any type of Illuminati lodges, right? Once they were found to try to engineer the French Revolution, they were kicked out of Bavarian by the Bavarian government, and so then they changed their name. They were around before uh, the Freemasons. Okay, Freemasons so before that, like a thousand before years that before one, the uh, Illuminati. They were, they were Knights Templar before that, right? Is that where you're going? They were Knights Templar before? They have like many a, names. Just boost, just boost, school and bone, and, and uh, so on. Okay, so have you, you guys know. read their literature? Have you guys ever read Albert Pike or Manly Fial? Uh, say it again. Have you ever read any Manly P. Hall or Albert Pike? Yeah, I, I know what it's about. Yes, I, I, have I, you I read it? A lot. No, not. Uh, okay, well, they admit they're Luciferians. They they say they're Luciferians. The clown shows on Discord say they aren't. But the 33rd degrees, the most revered p people, they say that they are. So please enlighten me how you know more than the 33rd degree most propped up Masons ever. Because I read the literature. You guys didn't. This is just like the globe earth. You're ignorant. And then you claim that we're dumb because you didn't do your research without bias. Oh, you are dumb. Uh, how so exactly? Enlighten me how I'm dumb. You cannot say uh, he is a dumb. He, he has really research. He know what he's talking about, but maybe he's too excited. He don't know. Uh, not everybody is like that. It's a, a I group. know that everyone's not like that. Not ninety-nine percent of Masons aren't like that. They don't know most of the stuff. I know many Masons. So. Uh, the, the, yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, you, you have to really have to relax and understand what's about that. the human human function and how uh, people uh, function in a group a group so they say that they're luciferian so are you guys going to tell me that they're not even though they say they are that's what i want an answer to answer and one of the main uh things that you have to do is you have to believe in god and okay okay oh let me enlighten you since you don't know what you're talking about once again i just actually cited two freemasonic 33rd degree authors and they say so kosho just lies constantly and says things you have to believe in some type of a supreme being you don't have to specify you're not allowed to be atheist this is explained in the literature that you haven't read because they you consider do. atheism that's what, I, that's what i just said dude I said, I said, no, I'm talking about any day, any day, any day my, man, my man my man i'm explaining why okay you're they explain why you're in their wrong. literature they say atheism is the dumbest ideology to ever exist. You are not allowed in no. Freemasonry because they consider atheism retarded. That's why, okay? Yeah, Except exactly. none of that's true. Oh, yeah, you, you, true. You, yeah, you do yeah. have to believe in a deity. Oh, so you, you can be a Freemason and, and be an atheist, drink the Kool-Aid? No. no you, so you then what I said is true. It. No. Te technically, you can. You just oh. have to proclaim that you believe in something. Well, my... <laughs> My grandfather my grand grand believed in a higher being that you can see in, in a spirit, life. Spirit, and that's in the spirit. Johnny, shut the fuck up, you dumbass. No well, you know, Luciferianism, Lucif to talk to you. Luciferianism is actually acknowledging a higher deity. I guess you guys didn't know that? Yeah. Because Kosho's argument is you about. can't be a Luciferian, you have no, to I believe in God. That was his argument. I, you just said that they were all Luciferian. 
You said it's no, a Luciferian cult. I said that when you get to the 33rd degree, write it down, Kosho. Not everyone that is a Mason knows. You have to put together what the truth is, but it is accessible to you once you're in the Brotherhood by access to the libraries where I have read their literature. You guys haven't. You and they very. Read. Wow, look how dumb. Uh, let me are. clarify my statement then. Not every 33rd degree from Freemason is a Luciferian. Just because you can find one. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, all yeah. Okay. oh, yeah. How do you know? Because there's no, what, what evidence do you have that they are? Because they say to get to the 33rd degree, you must. Because they say to get to the 33rd degree, they say to get to the 33rd degree, you must know about the Luciferian ideology. So you're saying that they're lying, but you don't know shit about it. I'm saying that what you just said is wrong. Whether that means that they lie, they that you're lying, so they're wrong. or they're, they're not Freemasons, I'm saying that what you're saying is wrong. So you're saying Albert Pike wasn't a Freemason? Uh, no, I'm not saying that. Okay, was Manly P. Hall a Freemason? I'm not saying that either. I'm not saying who's not a Freemason. I'm saying the information that you're giving right now is wrong. Well, according known, to the 33rd, 33rd degree, degree Masons, degree Masons. That's right. Okay, they're not allowed to tell you everything, man, because you're just a clown show. Yeah. You're not in uh, the listen, Brotherhood. Then how the hell would you know? Because think about they that, write guy. it in their literature. How the hell would you know then? Because let me write it. Let me say it for you again, because you're a dumbass. They write it in their literature. Right. They know you just said people. they can't say it. Right? right. They're not allowed to reveal the secrets. You have to find them for yourself. That is they the entire point. In the literature. Yeah, but most but people don't read it. Just like you dumbasses that are defending masonry, but you haven't even read the letters. You just said they're not allowed to say, it, but they write in their literature that you have access to. That's right. You're not allowed to go around telling people all the secrets in a condensed form. They have to do the research, be able to interpret and understand the literature, which is actually written in a higher degree than most of the room could even understand. And then they have to understand what it's saying, and then they have to research and find out what the truth is. You are not allowed to the 33rd degree unless you make a big, a big leap of knowledge doing this. This is what they say in their literature that you haven't yeah, read. You okay. Uh, you uh, anyway, it? guess guess you've what? You've been in there and you've read what, it. Uh, Why don't you tell us what it says? Guess what? Tell us what it says. Guess what? I don't know if you've met uh, Kool Aid. He's got evidence um, of a globe. You won't believe it. Um, That's wow. okay. I mean, we're not going to go back on that. I yeah. want to hear. No, let's the, hear it. Let's hear it. it. Yeah, he's got, access he's, to he's the, got uh, great evidence. The library, he right? On, uh, he went and accessed it, and you can read it. So please inform us on the secrets we don't know. Let me inform you because you're dumb as. Okay, here's the deal, buddy. If you don't go and research it and actually find out what the truth is, they don't tell you, okay? Because they make a brotherhood oath. I hey, listen, buddy. Already. They make a brotherhood oath, and they're not allowed to go around telling everybody I've what the secrets are. I've heard all that already. But you said you got to go in there, and there's all these books, and you this get to read them. got to go in there? What are you talking about? You said that you were inducted in there and they have a library. I did not say I was inducted in there. What a clown show. No wonder you're sucking in depravity. You're saying they yeah, have literature that, that, you have, that you've read. So why don't you inform us in the literature that you've read? Yeah, and go and look it up for yourself. It. It's publicly available. Exactly. Man. I, 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 I wish you could hear how you sound, Woodson. I wish you could hear how delusional you sound. Nobody believes what you're saying. It sounds like you so, made it up. So the people that write I, it, the no, literature, I, if they're lying. If I told you I have information... That I got because I researched it all, and it's only possible if you and then yourself research it, and nobody's allowed to know it. It's made hidden from everybody. I never said that. Okay, so I'll say it again. You're not allowed. Listen, listen, dumbass. They're not allowed to go around verbally telling people the secrets, Kosho. You have to research it yourself. Even if you're in the Brotherhood, they don't tell you all about it. They give you access to the literature, which now, in 2021, we also have access to. It is the information age. You can go read the secret teachings of all by Manly P. Hall. You can go read Albert Pike's actual literature. You can see what their teachings are, but you won't do it. You want to blindly believe believe that no one would ever lie to you and there's not powerful groups of people that are sent like satanic luciferian sun worshipers that lie to you there's no way that's true that sounds crazy so i don't have to believe it or research it i have the straw man austin saying that he says that it's publicly available but you can't tell the secrets as if that's a contradiction you know, when it's when not it's, they can't you know, verbally you tell you the secret you presented it completely different well, you no, I like didn't. You it's had, recorded it's recorded it's recorded, it's it's recorded. You presented it as, as if you couldn't get access to it unless you were in their library. Now it's That's not true. Online. I did not see that. Yeah, man. Well, how do you think I read it? How do you think I read it? 
book that's, that's publicly exactly available what... to everybody. It's never been hidden from anybody. It. Published it publicly. I have a quick question about this. Is this something you interpreted from the words in the book, or was it something that was written in plain, plain words? I mean, because I know you like to interpret things. Uh, How about you go good. read it? it yeah, they, they say they adhere to Luciferian ideology. And Luciferianism and, and the Masonic application applies to collective intellect and reason. And that this is represented symbolically of the sun, the perfect embodiment of enlightenment. Okay, so you interpret it. Okay, cool. So, so that's what they said, dumbass. That's what they said. What you're interpreting is the uh, French paper that was written uh, about the morals and dogma of the ancient accepted Scottish rite of Freemasonry, where oh. they, it was accused of being based on ancient pagan r rituals. Wrong. It doesn't actually have anything to do with the fucking book. You're wrong. It you're wrong. You're wrong again. Down. What a shocker. You're wrong again. You're just making shit up. What a shocker. Would you like the name of the book that you're quoting? Sure, just say, I'll cite it so you dumbasses can act like it's not real and I'll go on mute and act like this whole conversation didn't happen and then try to come up with a new question, a new topic to divide, divide away from I mean, because it makes you uncomfortable that you guys are dumb enough to believe. Go on mute then, you fuck face. By what? By what? I don't listen. Go on mute. Go on mute. And go on mute or, while or you, what? While or, or what? what book or you're what? reading. Or what? Or what? I'll Nothing. I'll continue to tell Nothing. you what book you're reading because you called me a fucking Nazi, you bitch. What are you talking? I called you a Nazi? What? Dude, this dude's such a gamma, dude. I'm sorry well, you're not well enough. I'm sorry you're, you're very insecure. That because now you're a repressed Jew, the rest of us are Nazis. Remember What that? are you talking about? You just make stuff up. All right, before we get into the, into the Jew discussion, Kool-Aid. You said uh, that you have uh, evidence of a globe with this boat race, as I remember. Um, yes. You you want to go through that again? How that um, proves we're on a ball? I love how you can get the floor to moderate, but you don't settle the point that's on the floor. And you're gonna golly, you got the power, Kimo. Use it. Okay. So uh, you want to go for that evidence, Kool Aid? Uh, Kool -Aid. Sure. We have we know the shape of our planet as we have mapped the shape of our planet. We can confirm the maps of the shape of our planet by looking at people who use those maps on a daily basis. Most people in this community like to talk about airplanes. However, I don't know much about airplanes, so I talk about sailboats. Sailboats, you can do a simple time over distance to get equal speed, and you can look at how long it takes them to sail around the world such they do in the Vendée Globe, and you can get the exact distance they traveled and the exact speed that they traveled. On wow. the A.E. Gleason map, the tip hair would be traveling an average of 180 knots VMG on a boat with no motor. Oh, yeah? Where at? Well, where at exactly? What's the route? I will post it for you now. Yeah, bye. Is it above or below the equator? Both. Both? They would have the same yep. speed both? Nope. Uh, you, well, you don't so realize that he's dumb? It. He's been banging on about yeah, this. Uh, this is number one uh, evidence for him. And uh, I thought I'd introduce this idea to you also. Actually, move at different speeds depending on... No, you're no, you're wait, cracking up, by the way. Your, your microphone is cracking a little bit. Does anyone else notice that it just... Yeah, it was a lot. It's a lot. I, I was just thinking it was me right before you said something. I apologize for that. There you go, Listen, I just posted the tracking map for the Vendée Globe that includes their speed and all the different legs. Obviously, when they were in the latitudes uh, nearest the equator, known as the Doldrum, they were moving a lot slower than at any other point in the race. You want to actually formulate your uh, argument like an adult? I think his point yeah. is, is a boat gets from one point to another. 80 knots an hour. How can they get to one point to another using the motors or whatever they've got? Something like that. There right? are no motors on yeah. a sailboat. You know, sailboats don't have motors. Yeah, he's saying that like you would need a motor to get... Or, or sail. What's your point? You're saying that this proves a ball how? Exactly. Because, Just say it like an adult. Okay. We know the distance these people traveled. 
We know the speed that they have traveled. We also know the maximum speed they're capable of traveling. We attempt to plot how do their know the, route. How do you know the distance? We know the distance via a through-hole input, where we actually measure the water speed. We know the distance based on the GPS locations. We know the distance based on uh, stellar navigation. Okay, so you use this oh, the I, I, To be honest, where I'd love to argue the latter two, I love the first one that you presented. Sweet. What? Yeah. The uh, first what? one, the speed of water? Yeah. It, it's a giant, it basically is a fan that sits in a tube through the hull of the ship that the uh, water flows past and causes to spin, giving us a revolutions per minute similar to the way your speedometer works in your car. Right. So the speed of water. What all? What all variables go into this speed that it's detecting of the water? So there's actually a lot of variables that go into it, which is why no shit. we talk about we talk about the VMG, which stands for velocity made good. Especially considering the fact that Vende is an upwind race, which means you can't go directly into the wind. You have to tack back and forth. Yeah, and so does the speed of the water speeds, in the ocean ever change? VMG. Does the motion yeah, of the no. water in the ocean change? Yeah, it's because no, the water's no, never not. flat. Okay, so water's never flat. <laughs> oh my god. No, water's not flat. It's because uh, so never seen on. flat water in my entire okay, life. So, okay, I get it. You're dumb. We get it. So how about you go grab a bottle of water, moron? So anyway... Not it's got so, a meniscus on it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Not so flat. whenever... Yeah, water's never flat, is what this guy says. So, if the water is always changing, do you have to account for those variables? Yes, and that's why the through hole is considered the least accurate of the three. Of course it is. So we're gonna throw I that one. It. We're gonna throw that one tremendously out the way, like way out the way, because it's laughably well, dumb. See, but least accurate. So I, don't don't agree with that. I see a middle ground there, Witsit. I see a middle ground there. Throwing it out, I don't think so. Least accurate, fine. Wait, wait. What do you? Why would? Do we not throw it out? It's a joke. You can't even account for the change of the motion in the waters. It requires oh, you can. theoretical you, nonsense. You totally can. Um, we know know how fast the currents are moving, and we also can do a simple time over distance, and that gives us speed. According to the most proposed flat Earth map, the A. Gleason map, Pip Hare, who came in 14th on the, this race, would have been doing 180 knots VMG. Really? What's the distance difference? About 14,000 miles. On above the equator? No. Wow, this is so easy to engage. It's a non stop race. They don't okay. stop. It's, they is it east to west? France. No. What direction are you going? Around the world. That's what you said. Yeah, I mean, I. Apparently, you didn't look at it. Here, I'll go ahead and post the route for you again. No, uh, so okay, just answer the route this question. In Vende, France, it then travels south across the equator. South America. As close, as, that, yeah. get, as close as they can get to the. Yeah, but then it uh, turns back. The, there. ICB, the ice exclusion zone. Yeah, which is, uh, they go that f they go as far south as they can because then they have to sail the shortest distance and they have a better VMG. Okay, so they go below the equator. Correct. It, that's and you did, of course, apply the scale. You did, of course, apply the scale. This race you is the scale. above and below. Did the equator. you apply the scale to the flat Earth map? No, I did. Oh my God, what an idiot. Oh, wait, I gave you numbers, so obviously I provided, I did the scaling. Yeah. Did you, okay, so you did. For 100%, yeah. you applied the scale to the, below the equator. Yep. Okay, so you, you didn't apply a scale, and you realized that it's pretty much I the same above the equator, the scale, and you applied keep, it keep, on and off. Keep strong man in me. I applied the scale. Cool, I, we know how to awful. figure out the rate. We, we know how really to figure bad. out the radius of a. Uh, we know how to figure out the radius of a circle. It's not hard. Simple sixth grade math. 
Oh, you're so. Oh my gosh. Pull it, pull so it, you don't understand it. He does. Everyone, I want everyone to take this in right now. I asked him if he applied the scale. His response was, "We know how to account for the radius of a circle." Does any Glover in here know why that's incredibly retarded? Does any Glover What's, know? What scale are you referring to? Wait, does any Glover know What's... why that's retarded? Tell Crickets. us why. What map? Crickets. What scale? Oh, we were dumb. Come on, what genius. What map? About? What scale? Yeah, well, whenever you have a flat Earth map and you get further what away map? from the center, it becomes what increasingly map? dis. Well, he invoked the AE what map. map? Okay. You, you, uh, what map? You said the AE map. The AE map, didn't he? Curved. Yes. Well, I'm asking you. He I don't give a fuck AE about map. him. You are you saying that on the flat Earth map, a kilometer in Finland is scale to the flat Earth? <laughs> this is so map. funny. Jesus. Oh man, hold on. So, curse, curse, curse question. His curse question is, is not getting answers. He, he's not asking you what did uh, uh, the other dude said. He's asking you what you meant about the scale. What scale are you talking about specifically? An A map has a scale for the disproportionate nature below the equator. What you map have to apply a scale about? for the distances in the southern part of a map on a flat Earth. So yes. what? What map? It's should just we like apply? at the bottom of the map. You know, what map should deal. we apply? Well, he said that he used the AE map. Do you disagree with that map? If you actually apply it correctly, that'd be a good start. Tell us how to apply it correctly. When you get below the equator, you have to apply the scale. And do you do that by talking like a retarded baby? You guys are so pathetic. Repeating Where's yourself it? with it. Yeah, you haven't said anything. Because you guys are dumb. I have to repeat myself because you guys are dumb. No, no, don't, don't repeat but, yourself. That's not, that, that, no one's asking you, do you have to apply the scale? We well, understand that you're saying that. What he's asking you to do is if you're not supposed to use the AE map, what should you do? didn't say that. That's called a straw man. You mean your mental though. midget. Kool Aid, Kool Aid, do you understand what Wits is saying? That if you're. They're, yeah. they're, they're asking right. him to explain how you would apply the scale scale that's what they're asking you they're not saying not to use it's the on the scale. map whenever something goes below the equator whenever something goes but this is what you've done oh my gosh you guys look at a flat earth map and then you say look it's so much wider in the south this would require way more distance because you dumbasses didn't apply the scale to below the equator because Tell it's called how. a cartesian coordinate system when Tell it gets it's on them it's on the map curved where? Yeah, but the, it's on the map because it's a uh, globe to projection. The curve. You're late why would to the you party. need that in a flat Earth? Oh, now we're done. So if it's a globe projection, then why wouldn't it work for this uh, for this math to prove the oh. cells? Oh, oh so uh -oh. the AE uh -oh. map uh -oh. is not scaled you guys properly being as drawn, you're saying. Is that correct? It's not scaled properly as drawn? That's not what I'm saying either. You guys have to straw man. Well, just what are you happen. saying? All you're wow, doing is, your is not run? saying is things run? while you're constantly fucking over talking people. Damn, your curveball just got jacked yard, bro. Curve, we were just having a simple discussion. All I wanted to do was get no, Kool Aid. No, it's not, Timo. Fuck off. All I was asking was Kool Aid to explain this globe. That's, that's fine, Timo. That's useless to say right now. Which is the only reason we're all. Kosher, I was saying something. Not, Kosher, on, I was in the middle of saying something. Timo. Kosher. Yeah, no, you said you just wanted to get him to talk Kosher. to the fucking other dude. I was in the middle of saying something. I'm trying to explain where, where, where we are, where we're at. Kool Aid. Kool Aid has got to claim. That these boats, this race, proves the globe. Thanks, Kimo. So we need Thanks. to find out to a conclusion from Kool Aid. But run an interference for Witsit. Witsit. Okay, I got it. Oh, I, don't need to, I messed no up because I decapitated the whole room. What an idiot! Before Kimo interrupted Witsit, before he interrupted, I was trying to just let you know that we're not trying to. We're just trying to all comprehend what you're saying. So instead of. Uh, okay, let me know, recap before you guys. Know, okay. Maybe so just this guy said. This guy said that this is impossible on a flat Earth. We'll use the AE map. Then Curve's dumbass jumped in and said, "What map are you using? It's your claim, moron." He's That's making the claim. That's not how that happened. Now he's in, it's now on record. Again. Right. It's again, on this record, is, this you is, lying uh, bitch. This is this is wasn't supposed to happen like this. Again, all I was doing was asking Kool Aid. Well, it does happen like this. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. The way that he does. Okay. It was a very simple question to Kool Aid. It was his evidence. It's his proof. All we're doing is talking about. The claim he's making that this this race proves you're on a globe. That's it. 
So we need and to let me that. explain the rudimentary way that he came to that conclusion. It's very similar to whenever the Glovers say, look, we can see the stars off from these different southern points, even though it's not nighttime all at the same time. It's very, it's always very, very, very dumb things that they overlook. So they basically are looking at a flat Earth projection, wow. and they're saying, look, it gets way bigger in the south. So that means that you would have to cover more land in the south if the Earth was flat, which means you'd have to go faster. That's his argument. But what he doesn't seem to understand is that because it's a flat map projection, once you get past the equator into the quote-unquote southern hemisphere, there's a disproportionate nature to it because that's the inherent and intrinsic nature of a flat map, so you have to apply a scale to it. And then another Glober jumped in and said, well, it's just the Glober is flattened. You, th then it doesn't prove anything. You guys are clowns. <laughs> Well, we oh, well, let Kool Aid respond now, because this is how it's getting lost here. Because Kool Aid can't respond. Because you just stop. Co co people co are trying to respond to people are saying, please stop for yeah. a second. Let Kool Aid respond okay, to his stop, evidence. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Okay. Okay. Let Kool Aid. Yeah, so if you don't do this, then this gets done quickly, Chemo. Please let stop. Kool Aid respond. That's fine, Chemo. He, the, everybody here is going to get a chance cool. to respond if you shut the hell up. Yeah. Kool Aid uh, doesn't have a response. Kool Aid knows sailboats. That's yeah. it. He doesn't know how to talk about well, this issue make, that we're on right now. Cool is going to be able to say, okay. but I'm going to respond to what, uh, what it said before he, uh, before he gets lost, dude. That's what people are trying to have a regular conversation, Kimo. Yeah. Well, well yeah, okay, but he already said, did. I asked him if he didn't like the scale. He said, yeah. But this is not a regular conversation. When you said before, you told us many, you've spent many times telling us, you spent 10 minutes telling us about how Globers are all jumping Dude, in, stop. how you're not no, helping each other, sake. how you're not helping the conversation, you're not allowing the person to talk. This is you telling people Keep now, up. all so of a sudden when Cool Lady trying to make a point for five minutes to get it across, you're not allowed him to get it out. It out? I'm Stop being a control freak. So like I said, we've got two or three, four oh, people jumping in over when all I asked was Kool-Aid. Well, that's fantastic. Can you just be a man you, and stop talking for a second? You're trying to micromanage everything, Kimo. Yes, because this is that's your rule. You, you're, you both say, oh, can't you let a person have five minutes with a person? And now you're the one no, jumping all over everybody. I respond to what he just said, dude. Please stop talking for a second. Okay. Everyone has it's it on yeah. record. The Globers yeah. jumped in and interrupted to try to save That's this fine. guy. Still got exactly. This is the point here, Kota. I'm trying to respond to one of the points you made, uh, which is a hold on. What you just said, though, about the, the maps and that everybody knows that on flat maps, uh, there's there's going to be distortion because you can't uh, you can't present it in the, on a flat map. Or you can reiterate what you said so you can say it in strong so, menu. But you see? I, I was trying to ask you why I was trying to ask you why you said that. And why that's the case. Uh, if you, take, if you, you have a why circle... Why, why, does have to be, you have, why does it have to be um, distorted to present on a flat map? Okay, so if you have a circle in the center, and then you draw a line out from it, and then you draw another line out from it, the further away from the center it gets, inherently the further away from each other they get. So when you get to the southern portion, it's going to widen out more because of the intrinsic nature of a a flat map projection so once you get too far from the center to still have accurate distances and land layout you have to apply the scale that's literally sitting on the map he didn't do that he then said that these distances were without the scale came up with the number and he thinks that proves the earth's not flat it's ridiculous you have you don't even want to interpret the map and then you straw man it my question wasn't about the map that he brought so, up. So, uh, oh, so you're going to get your follow-up, no Kosho. Is that nope, the idea no now, then? So this no is the idea. This is why I said to Kool-Aid, he wants to be able to have his no back and forth. Kimo, it's Kimo, his Kimo, evidence, Kosho. Why are you doing this? Because because he's the mad, power-hungry cunt. Because Just let Kool them have the conversation. Don't try and stop the conversation. Because you well, to be fair, correct in some way. Well, Kool-Aid's trying to get a word in. It's his evidence. All right, well, let it, I no, actually, I mean, Kusha, no time Kirby limit. Kusha jumped, jumped in and stopped the conversation. Right. Another what? guy. Kirby asked a question. Jesus Christ. Christ. What was Nobody was what? talking what? once again. And then I've started a comment. You've got Kerb and Kosha jumping in, preventing Kool-Aid from talking. Kosho, he can talk afterwards. He can talk afterwards. It's not. Yeah, I'm asking him one question. Kurt asked yeah, Kosho can talk afterwards. Like I said, why do you have to dude. jump in right then when Kool Aid's trying to explain his know, evidence? Maybe the thought, a thought entered his mind. Maybe he felt like he had a good point to make at that point. Just let it well, run. He, did. he just did. He just asked us questions. Well, he was just he's just just please stop for a second. Call me names. Okay. No, 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 uh, what I, I'm not talking about that map specifically. You said no maps, and so every single map. And the reason why you're saying is because if you start with a circle, they spread out. 
but that's if you have like a grid system where they're supposed to be next to each other. But why right. couldn't Who's you just, just have muted, a man? representation? Why couldn't you have a representation of the way the actual Earth was? Why would it have to be distorted? Why wouldn't you just have the layout of the Earth? That way, when you look at a map, flat, a flat map, it give you actual distances. And uh, because we use that's, grid, that's, that's totally possible. Just, we use grid. We use because we use grid systems. And so this is how this started. This guy made a claim that this particular path of the sailboats was impossible on a flat Earth. He then said he used the azimuth no. equidistant map to prove that. Yes, he did. He said that this is impossible because they'd have to go this fast, but we know how fast that they went. And he used the azimuth equidistant map to make the straw man dumbass claim about how fast he'd have to go if it was, in fact, utilizing that map. That is inherently incorrect because he did not apply the scale past the southern part of the equator where you have to apply the scale. And now what Koso's doing is saying, why can't we have a perfect map? What Curve's doing is saying, well, what map should we use? It's your stupid claim. You claim you falsified the flat earth using the azimuth equidistance, and I'm showing you that objectively you didn't even use the map correctly. This is a well, great way to do it. Again, because there's another yeah, yeah. question in now, uh, and a third question, a fourth question, no, no, again and again. No, so this, this, is, this is the point I was making. This no. is Kool-Aid's no, evidence. Let me tell. There isn't let a me time tell. limit. Somebody else can have a go afterwards. I yeah, actually but, completely agree with we're what We're getting away from the, the whole <laughs> conversation, though, which is the, bo no. the boats prove we're on a globe. Well, this is all part of that. And what Wits had said about how we're retarded because we did not apply the scale properly. Correct. Wits needs to explain how to do that. Well, we and don't know if uh, Kool-Aid did it, or not, do we? What if Kool-Aid did? Why is Kimo talking? Because we why? don't know if Kool-Aid did or didn't. Well, let's just hear from Kool-Aid because we are never, ever going to hear the last of it until we do, are we? Oh, okay, Kimo fuck me absolutely, then. absolutely, completely obsessed that Kool-Aid... Absolutely has to speak right now, or the world will end. Apparently, he's been trying ahead, to speak. Go ahead, for fuck's sake. Well, so, Brat wins. Wits it. I actually agree with you. I, this map is inherently flawed because it is a projection, and that is, to me, great evidence that we are on a globe. What we're agreeing on. Now. Okay, so that you means that explain? you're. You're very dumb, and the truth of the matter is. Oh, for goodness' sake! Now he's backtracking. He can't be. A, he can't. Be a... This was a pleasant conversation oh. ten minutes ago. All I was doing was asking Kool Aid. And I said, "You're wrangling with people because you want to decide who can and can't be in the conversation." No, it's not about that. I said to Wixit, yeah. "We've got great evidence That's from the globalists." So oh, I said, he said, said what is it? Let, right. Let's go Hang into it. Here. So right. I said, Kool-Aid, can you explain to Witsit why you have the evidence? He couldn't even get three words out before Kosho and Curb to say, well, why this? Why that? Why this? Why that? You're retarded, dude. He, they had a whole conversation about it, and then Witsit called everybody in here retarded because of uh, the question about the... Because you two were jumping and not, and not allowing... Let's, go back, let's go back. Hold on. Let's go back to Curb's point then, which was... I, can you... Just reiterate the end of it. Oh my god. Uh, Kurt just jumped in calling me names, dude. Okay, That's what Kurt did. Off in a huff. Okay, so, so, okay, can I respond to the other guy? Can I respond to the other guy, please? Okay, so the other guy said, I agree with you, actually. What's it? It's disproportionate, and I think that's great proof of the Earth being a globe. So he's now backtracked away from his original claim that it would take this speed to go this distance on a flat earth because it would be a greater distance on a flat earth. That's patently false. It is not a greater distance. You have to apply the scale because of the flat map projection. Now, instead of being intellectually honest and saying, you're right, I didn't apply the scale. I just accounted for it as is. I didn't actually account for the fact that isn't the real distances beyond the south or beyond, southern of the uh the equator, I have to apply the scale. Instead of being honest and saying that, he's now saying, oh yeah, I agree that you can't have a map that's perfect so then that, it's just the way Cartesian coordinate systems, it's the way the grid system works intrinsically. If you knew anything about this conversation, you would never invoke this. So what you need to do is man up and admit you didn't even do the math correctly. So when you come around with your numbers about how fast you have to go on a flat earth with over a certain distance that you presuppose, you did it incorrectly. You need to admit you did it incorrectly. I did it incorrectly because the map is inherently wrong. No, the garbage map has a scale garbage. on it that you ha the, no, the map has a scale on it that you have to apply. Even when your own people tried to save you and say that it's the same as the globe or it's just flattened out, but you're still doubling down on it. So now you're broke. I'm going all in. I'm calling you. You need to admit you did it wrong, dude. 
garbage really in, confused. garbage out. You, you just debunk flat Earth, which is if you need a scale for a two D map of a two D Earth. Why would you need a? Why do you I need said a scale the Earth was two D. You said it's a horizontal plane, right? Yeah, it's a topographical it? plane. Yeah. Okay. So why do you need a scale? Because we use a grid system to navigate. You more. Oh my gosh! This is like talking to children. It really isn't. Ritz. This is you being completely delusional and pretending yeah. that a map, which is not a map of the Earth, is a map of the Earth, even though you're agreeing it isn't a map of the Earth. I mean, it's no, actually, what I, no, you can't have. First of all, there isn't an accurate globe map either. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. There is Google Earth. No, there Google isn't. Earth. Google Earth. Google, Google Earth. This dude just said Google Earth. What an idiot. What a complete <laughs> Why is it Because Google Earth has a cartoon from an orthographic and then you zoom into a flat map. Oh my god. And you can know distances between points and they are accurate. So what? If you, if you don't zoom in, you've got an map. accurate map, haven't you? No, it's it's One not accurate from the from the globe. Like whenever you have a globe in Okay, so when you have a globe in the classroom. It's not for educational purposes, for decorative okay, purposes. How did you debunk it? How what's did you debunk it? What's the inaccuracies and how is the disproportionate you know? land masses? They have the wrong sizes and the wrong. Okay, so how do you know that that's true on a globe? Because that's true. Because on we case. use what's listen, called listen. a Mercator projection. Yeah, well, that, yeah, but we're not talking about the Mercator projection. We're talking about the globe, a plastic globe that you have. Unknown distances on the Earth that have been measured. How is that inaccurate? And how do you know yeah. it's inaccurate? Because, it, admittedly, in the production of globes, physical globes, it's not for educational purposes. Talking about Google Earth. Accurate. Google well, Earth. That, why does it say that on the <sighs> map, though? Because they're not accurate. That's not true. It's because, oh, why does it say that, then? It's because they're manufactured in China and imported through India. And China and India have a dispute over, uh, 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 what is it, uh, Nepal. <laughs> Tibet, Tibet. So, uh, so that's why one of them sticks that sticker on there. So, you know, to make that. Uh, okay. So you, so you actually so you have can to easily buy. It. You can just Google educational globes, and you'll find ones that don't have that sticker. On. This dude even admitted that you use GPS. GPS uses flat projection centralized to your location. He then admitted that they use the celestial navigation, which obviously doesn't prove the Earth's a ball either. It's been used for thousands of years. So. The, However, entire... the, the question was, ball, though, yeah. is, uh, you've seemed to have avoided, is how do you know it's inaccurate? Because it's, it's, there's not a stupid spinning ball that defies physics. What okay, do you mean? So, oh, that's, so those Google, are your Google, feelings. Uh, so they give so when you I give feelings. You, but so whenever you know? I give you that the military uses uh, flat maps to navigate, what you guys are going to say it's not real. I've been in here before. I've heard you guys say it's not real, that I need to cite it. I then go cite it, and you guys say it's still not real. Yeah, those are localized maps. Hey, can I, can I yeah. say them to, um, what's his oh, name? Oh, you too? travel Kool -Aid. localized. Hold on, hold on, man. I, I know you were in the military too, right? But, um, Mr. Kool-Aid, sir, um, I have a recommendation because I have, I've had this argument before about these, um, boat races and they'll say ridiculous things because they're ridiculous people. But one but thing that, uh, one, one, one way that you can, one way you can frame the argument, which can't be, uh, countered, um, is instead of, um, choosing what size uh, below the equator, um, like what size, once you get south of the equator, what size uh, the Earth would need to be, because like he'll just do what he's doing now. You can just use the size of the equator and say that it has to at least be that distance or bigger. It definitely has to be bigger, because if you have a distance that's smaller than the equator, uh, south of the equator, that's, not, that's no longer a flat uh, shape. So it has to at least be that size. And the speeds are not as great as they would be in the AE model, but they're still impossible. Well, you're only traversing to, to known land masses, so you have the known point. land masses and the relative locations of them. So there's a lot of water out there, and yeah, it gets bigger, but you're just traversing from lone, known land mass and lone, known land mass Wait. around the Earth. You guys you guys can't even Wait. be honest and admit that you that applied, didn't apply the scale. That is contraindicated by the... But the that fact that the globe flatten, the, they take a globe and they flatten it out... To Why actually the reverse. scale is making it a globe again, isn't it? Oh, hold on, what's it? No, the it's just making the land masses accurate race. because we Can don't know the true nature of the Earth has sixty south latitude. Pulls them together instead of spreading them apart, which would ha necessitate a globe. No, it wouldn't. Well, how would it not? How could it? How could they be closer together than they are on the AE map, or, or the correct distances apart, 
and the shape still be flat? How, how could that happen? Because there are unknown areas past the equator of water that right, you so, are saying aren't there, or no, you're assuming they like exist. Don't, don't talk like, like, don't talk well, like, I just said like, that. I just said it, though. Well, how is that true in any way? You're saying there, uh, are, un there are unexplored areas of ocean. That is what you're claiming now. Well, I'm saying we don't know the full layout of the land, of the earth. That's correct. So even though that people circumnavigate the, the, the globe all the time, apparently there are bits of it that we don't know about. East to West circumnavigation works the same on a flat earth, dude. Well, it, in this case, it wouldn't, would it, if you were south of the equator? You're saying they would, people would have to scale the map. Yeah, you're saying it, 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 it doesn't work. You're saying there's, there's hidden areas, aren't you? Because when you use a grid system, I'm sorry that you're dumb, Jim. Remember when you said you that? System, when you, I'm sorry you're dumb, Jim. But when you have a grid system centralized and then moved out from the central area, it becomes disproportionate once you get further away from the center. Well, we use grid systems to navigate, so we have longitude and latitude. So in, inherently, to use a grid system, right, you're going to have the disproportionate nature of the land past the south of the equator. Because you have to apply the scale. You idiot. Oh yeah, my how would that, that, how would that be just, true I'm, just because the I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm sorry you that, don't understand it. I'm dumb right now. Yes, you're just showing you're how ridiculous. You're you are. saying that grid systems get inaccurate as they get bigger. What? Yeah, because they're coming from a central but point. They don't. So you, but they Jim, don't watch how dumb, Look, watch how dumb you are. Grid if, I, if, I, yeah, if I make a grid system from the center and I draw a line out and then I draw another line out, they're going to move further away from each other yeah. proportionate to how far away you are from the center. This is basic no, shit, bro. No, they're not. Look, if I make a grid. Okay, I'm out. You said no, they're not. You're just lying. Yeah, we're, we're just lying. A, grid, a grid is a grid. It has equal spaces, right? Okay, so, like, Kosho, do you like. want to correct him? A... But how is it not? Tell spaces. me how a grid is not equally spaced lines. Because well, on a flat, case, as you get further away from the center, the lines get further away from one another. Do you when, not know how in, it works, Jim? Yeah, in, a, in a spherical grid system, like we use, because we believe we live in a sphere. On a sphere, that's true, but that's exactly. not true on a flat plane, is it? But you could, you on could a flat map of projection, it is inherently true. I'm sorry, you guys you are know, dumb. Could, I gotta go. Could, I gotta go. You guys you give me a headache. You guys are liars. You could not. I'm telling you that you could make a circular grid system no, where, with like an AE map style grid system. I came up it, with a speed and, and a distance that was a straw man, and you can't even correct your own side. You guys are intellectually designed. It's right pathetic. Now, He's trying to do that, right, but right, you right. just want to talk over him because you're an idiot. Fair enough. And, uh, I was going to say, it was wor it's worse than that anyways, Jim, because um, what you were saying about the uh, AE map, oh no, what you were saying, you are saying something about the sizes having to be bigger or having to having to um what are we at, right but he said about extra lands so what if him using that as an argument it counters his argument I it counters his own argument that's what i was telling um right uh, kool-aid because if you use the size of the equator and the speed of the race is shorter than the, that distance it's you know too fast for that distance then extra lands aren't going to save you you need somehow to have way less um earth down there in order to make yeah. that true and that was what I was trying to get in with the, the GPS system, which isn't based on a flat map. It is based on the spherical coordinate system, which we expressed as longitude and latitude. And it is a spherical system, not a flat system. But there's a hundred there's there's a hundred ways to explain it, but what happened was Witsit fucking stuck his head in the noose, kicked a chair out from underneath himself, and Chemo came in and grabbed the motherfucker and saved him. That's what happened. Yeah, and that's why. And then we're just we're just to over talk and over talk and over talk. Nobody can get in the actual reputation of him because he's got special fucking privileges because he's King Jackass. No, along that, with Queen that, Chemo, the cunt. That would have went along much more smoothly. You if... can't have actual conversations like this. That would have went much more smoothly if we'd allowed Kool Aid to get to the conclusion, and then Witsit to get to his conclusion. And then obviously Kool Aid did. No, Kool Aid never. doesn't have a conclusion. Kool Aid has nothing on this Just map. Like that was my question that I came in to ask 
Witsit because Witsit kicked the chair. Yeah, but that you question, saved him. That question was irrelevant. Piece of shit you are. That question was irrelevant because Kool Aid agreed with Witsit at one point and said, Well, this is what Whoa. Was like. No, no, no. I, I'm not listening to there this. You you're, you're fucking pathetic. And that could have been a lot yeah. smoother. Like you're, you're, you're being lame, dude. He literally agreed with him to tell him that the flat Earth map is inaccurate. Right. And that's he says what... it's inaccurate. It's inaccurate, and you can't in uh, you can't use it, and it basically proves that it's a globe, which is the same point I was making on it as well. well exactly. And that's the reason. That's what, that's I, that, the question. The question I asked about why can't you use any flat maps? That's why I was asking it. See, now you've just said you were saying what Cool Day was saying. Well, that was the point. If you guys no, 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 no. What yeah, I said like to you was, doing I right now again, thing I've said one said. or two words, and you're jumping on over what I'm saying. Just like then, if if you're saying what Cool Day was saying, Cool Day knows what to say. It's his evidence, for goodness sake. So. Obviously, it's fantastic, dude. We're different people. If he again, wants to say something not, after and me, this is what happened. that's this cool, what happened dude. Before, it's not a big deal. You wouldn't allow Stop dictating who's speak. talking, again, man. If you're right, this is what I don't understand with the Globe Earthers. If you're right, you're right. You've got nothing to to panic about, worry about. If Wits is wrong, he's wrong. But obviously, no one's panicking about Wits. Obviously, Wits he must be onto something if you're, you know, so overreacting to what he's saying. No one's pissed at Wits, dude. Wits can come in here and insult everybody. Everyone's in here fucking talking shit about what you're doing. So we're yeah, all interested in uh, flat earthers are always interested. One, but one last point, David. Flat earthers are always, always interested when globe earthers have evidence uh, to present. So that's why Kool Aid was a new uh, idea that proves the globe. And you saw Witsit sink his teeth globe. into it, have a good think about it, and explain how you know this doesn't prove. Uh, the globe there, Kool Aid. It's just a shame you didn't get to expand. We all saw, yeah, we actually did get to see it. Kool Aid laid out the argument, he laid out the whole argument, and Woodson had stupid ass. Um, wrong with you, for, um, he had stupid ways of refuting it, and Kirk had asked one question on it, the stupid thing he said. And he was, he was mentioning it just, a, just a simple conversation. He was in a good mood, he was ready to talk, and I was just like, hey, Kool Aid, just break it down. He broke it down, and then they could have got further because Kool Aid was like, well, I agree, and this is why. It doesn't prove a flat Earth, and then Witsa could have explained what he had to explain, and then you know, we don't need to and get then, there. And we asked yeah. some questions about it, and he didn't. He answered it saying the same thing each time. Then you have to scale. What you scale it. You have to right scale now, the map. You can't use it. You have to scale it. What about the fact that the Earth is seventy percent water, and all your maps are on a little bitty thirty percent of the map, and uh, anything over the water doesn't count anyway? So, what's your point? If it's on land, you can drive from one point to another. All the continents basically connect to one another, except for the 60-mile Bering Strait, which no one has crossed since we bought Alaska from uh, Russia. And, 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 and one, and, and uh, what, about Jesus, the, David. Uh, what about all the communist countries that you have no idea what's inside their hey, borders? David.